tensions between Vietnam and China are giving way to real fears for lives and livelihoods. This week's anti-China riots in Vietnam have left up to 21 people dead, including at least two Chinese nationals. Some of the factories attacked are still offline, not because they're so badly damaged, but also hundreds of workers have fled the country. A special team from China has landed in Vietnam to assist in the investigation and to ensure those responsible are prosecuted. The mob violence began after a conflict flared between China and Vietnam over a Chinese oil rig in disputed waters. CCTV correspondent Wei Wanqing reports from Hanoi. The largest outbreak of violence happened in Ha Dinh province, the north-central part of Vietnam. Now, according to the official data of Vietnam, uh, the, incident, the incident has caused two deaths and another, um, well, more than 100 injuries. While at the same time, there were also some aggressive moves in uh, the in industrial parks in Dong Nai and Binh Duong provinces. Uh, now, uh, so far, more than 1,100 people are detained by the police. According to Vietnamese official, that the situation in Vong Dao economic zone in Hanjing province has already resumed normal. Well, uh, uh, during the past two days uh, 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 across the country, there were also some strikes, but most of them are in peace.